Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to be introducing you to our brand new Tyke operator. Tyke operator extends the Kubernetes APIs and it brings full lifecycle API management capabilities directly to Kubernetes. For this demo, I'm going to be managing the trusty HTTP request response service. For those of you who um, are not familiar, uh, httpbin.org allows you to um, test your uh, REST requests. Um, so slash get allows us to send a get request and it returns back the request message that I sent it. So if I had a query string parameter, and then you'll be able to see um, that it uh, that we supplied these arguments to it. Um, if I send a message to slash um, XML, you'll see I'll get an XML response. Um, in addition to REST-based services, Type Operator can also help you to manage your uh, TCP, gRPC, GraphQL, or even SOAP services. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to be sticking to uh, protecting the httpbin.org service. Now, httpbin is available um, inside or as a Docker image. So if we have a look here, you can see uh, Kenneth Wrights has got a httpbin service. And I've created a deployment um, and a service inside Kubernetes here. So if I go ahead and apply these, okay, um, bear with me for a minute. Um, okay, so if I go k apply dash f uh, http bin, and we'll see that we've got our deployment and our service has been created. So k get all, and we can see that our pod http bin service is available and I can port forward that, etc. if I wanted to. It's going to move to the right directory. And I'm gonna copy that, paste that there. And um, so now we've got this uh, service available. Now I want to be able to manage these APIs. At the moment, um, I can access the service directly, or I mean, I'm not exposing it, but I can access the service directly, and the API, the HTTP API, is not protected. So um, the way I'd go about doing this is by creating an API definition. So let's uh, create a new file, and I'm gonna call it API definition.yaml. Now the API definition.yaml uh, will have an API version and the API version is type.type.io slash v1 alpha 1. And the kind is an API definition kind. And you'll see my IDE has picked that up. So it's aware of, um, of what this is. So um, let's give our uh, API definition kind a name. And we'll call it HTTP bin. And um, in the spec, and you'll see that the IDs helped me to fill this out. So my um, the name of my API definition, I'm gonna call it HTTP bin service. Um, the protocol, it's a HTTP API. And the target URL um, will be HTTP colon slash slash, uh, I think it's HTTP bin dot default dot SVC. I think that's what it is, colon, um, and we're targeting port 8000. Okay, um, I think that's right, yes. And what we want to do is we want to set a, a listen path, and we'll set that to slash HTTP bin and we want to strip the listen path so that when we re proxy to this service, we're going to remove HTTP slash HTTP bin from the listen path. Okay, and this API, we want to make it keyless. Okay, so now if I apply this, 
um, HTTP bin and API definitions. And what we can do now is I can do okay, get type APIs and we'll see um, that we've created an API definition which is on the listen path h uh, slash HTTP bin. Uh, you'll see that it's not enabled so I forgot to actually enable um, I think it's active true and now I can apply that again okay and you can see that the API is now enabled so um, let me um, port forward the gateways uh, the gateway to the host machine so I can be able to access that um, API. So, k okay, port forward uh, dash n type pro control plane, and I think it's called svc slash gw. And I want to go from the host machine, um, to my local machine, 8000, to on the internal machine, I think it's 8000 as well. Okay. Let's see if this works. So if I curl HTTP localhost colon 8000 slash HTTP bin slash get empty reply from server. Error call of forwarding 8000 to 480. So I've done something clearly wrong there. Does not have a service port 80. don't know why that's forwarding like that but let's try again port forward error occurred okay let's just ignore that for the gateway pod at the moment um, because I happen to know that there is a gateway that's actually running um, against the load balancer so I'm going to try against oh hold on I think that's because I'm calling the wrong service 8,000 on the host machine, AT there, and let's try that. And it works, so it's talking to the wrong service. So now we can get in, um, and we're going via the um, via the gateway. So let's test this out. Let's enable authentication for this API. So rather than use keyless true, um, what we're going to do is say uh, use standard auth true. And now if we apply this manifest once again, and then we try and access that endpoint, we'll see that we've got an authorization field missing. Okay, so um, what we can do now is, um, now we've protected this API, is we can grant access to that API. Now in order to grant access to that API, we need to create a security policy. So let's create a, a new security policy. And I'm going to copy this, and we'll call we'll create, and I'm going to call it gold. And this kind is called security policy, and it's the gold plan. Um, we're going to give it a spec. Okay, and the name is going to be called the gold plan. And the state, it's gonna be active, active, true. And what else do we need in here? So in the access rights array, we want to be able to gain access to our HTTP bin um, API in the default namespace. So it's gonna be HTTP bin, API in the default namespace. And we want to gain access to the default version of the API. So if I now apply this change again, and what we're going to do is gain access to the type dashboard. I'm just gonna port forward that onto the host machine and then access the type dashboard. Okay, 
and you can see that we've got our HTTP bin service here and we should have our security policy, our goal plan here. So let's go ahead and create an API key to gain access to this service. Let's add a key. Granting access to that goal plan will create the API key. We can now copy that key and I should be able, hopefully, if I curl that request, and add a bearer token, I should now be able to use that API key to gain access to that API. And obviously, if I remove the key, you see access has been disallowed. F5. 242115. I can put that in again. Perfect. So let's um, now um, modify this security policy because now we've got this key, this goal plan, and at the moment it's got kind of like an unlimited rate limit. I'm not able to um, control too much about what this uh, API key can or this, this token is able to do. So uh, what we can set here is a, um, a, a rate limit. So if we say per, um, so per, uh, per 10 seconds, we should be able to um, send, um, let's say in 10 seconds, we should be able to send a maximum of two requests. So let's apply that. And now um, I should be able to send this once, twice, and when I send the third time, it will say rate limit exceeded. So just like that, we're able to control the rate limit of all of the tokens that we issue um, that, um, that have this security policy um, for the goal plan. Because it is the goal plan, what we're going to do is increase the rates to say um, 20 requests per 10 seconds we can, before I update that, let me just show you, we can gain access again, gain access again, and now a rate limit exceeded. Now, um, if we apply that change to allow 20 requests per 10 seconds, and we try to use the key, you'll see we're not actually rate limiting. It's actually quite difficult to get it to hit that rate limit from my local um, command line. So that's it, a very quick introduction to um, Tyke's brand new operator allowing you to perform full lifecycle API management um, using uh, standard or, or by extending the Kubernetes API. If you want to explore the operator and find out more about the capabilities that it can do, um, feel free to visit um, github.com slash tyke technologies slash tyke operator. And in there, um, there's plenty of examples of the kind of things that um, you should be able to do and um, perform. So API definitions, managing ingress, some of the concepts and things like that. And if plenty of examples of how you can um, protect a HTTP API, the TCP API, GraphQL API, um, or even stitching REST with GraphQL using this exact same declarative, um, or declarative Kubernetes syntax. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.